Welcome back to some more Fallout New Vegas. We are in the Nellis Air Force Base with the Boomer Faction. Uh, there's a real hard skill book that you're going to miss if you don't know where it's at or searching very thoroughly. It's right there on the bookshelf in between all these neatly stacked books. We can go ahead and take that. And we'll use it since I'm weighed down so much. It's going to increase our explosives by four. There's also another skill book here and also one of the snow globes is here as well if you're doing the collectibles. We can also do some quests for these people before we turn on them. Mother Pearl's instructions are clear. You can move freely around Nellis, and artillery spotters have orders not to fire on you. These are extraordinary privileges. Don't abuse them. Mother Pearl said you have a bug problem? Long story short, the power failed a few days ago because giant ants have tunneled into the generator room and set up a nest. I led a team down to exterminate them, but there were so many of them. We lost. Two killed, three wounded. Personally, I think it's more than a savage can handle. But if you want to kill those ants and switch the power back on, feel free. I can handle a few ants. Sure, anyone can. But there's more than a few down there. See for yourself. But one other thing. The ants must be eating gunpowder from the munitions down there. Or something. They exploded when hit by a flamethrower. One of us was using a laser pistol. Same thing. Bullets seem okay. Just don't hit the artillery shells. Loyal's been working on some kind of weapon to use against them. Maybe you should check with him. Alright. Let's get with Loyal. Pretty big area here, as you can see. That's the woman barracks. Might sneak in there with the stealth boy. I don't know how you survived the bombardment. That's incredible. There's the other skill book. It'll give us plus four to repair. I hope Pearl knows what she's doing, letting you wander around Nellis as you please. Gal said you were working on some kind of weapon to fight the giant ants. I started building a sonic emitter that might do the trick, but it's useless without knowing the exact frequency that would kill the ants. Any signal over 22,000 hertz at 150 or more decibels should do the trick. Hot damn, you're right! It's a matter of boosting across those thresholds, not exact amplitude. You're smarter than you look. Just so happens I was testing it at 24,000 hertz, 
so it should be good to go. Place it near their nest and cross your fingers. Signal's too high for people to hear, so no harm done. But it might make you feel sick to your stomach. Soto's looking at your wrinkly old fucking face. Anyways, thanks for the skill book. Ass hat. And there's the snow globe inside the museum. Take care of these frogging ants. Got ants in my pants. Do the dance. So big. Shaka-laka! Back the fuck up! Take that 50 pounds extra perk when I can. Just can't hold enough. Benny. Poor Benny. Took a fucking 12 gauge to the back of the brain. <laughs> Giving up my golden echo egg. Gecko egg.
question is, is where is the mound? Like a big ass mound over there. Sonic emitter removed. You have gained the Bug Stomper perk! <laughs> uh, just ants are getting annihilated. It's the Bug Stomper perk, I think that gives me... Pulling the legs off and suits you well. You gain a damage bonus against in insects. Sweet. I'm at my maximum here. Now we gotta get down there and uh, turn on the generators. These bad boys right here. Looks like massive amounts of ammunition. Missiles. Mini nukes and missiles. I'm so glad they weigh absolutely nothing. We're gonna go ahead and scavenge the shit out of this. Game Hoarder likes missiles. Lug lug. Everyone's enjoying my dark sun. Let's play, I hope. Uh, the Adventures of Lug Lug will continue this weekend. I'll be doing a full day of Dark Sun and a full day of Icewind Dale 2. That'll be uh, coming out Saturday and Sunday. So, If you're watching those LPs, I'm expecting to at least upload 10 videos of each. That's 5 hours of each. I'd like to uh, finish Icewind Dale 2 because... We're going to be starting uh, Dungeon Master. And then there's a good chance I might start Arcanum after one of those. Had a lot of requests for Arcanum. Never did beat it myself back in the day. I got close, but I would like to beat that and do an LP of Arcanum. It is the post apocalyptic. role-playing game. Not to be confused with Arcana. Which is also a role-playing game based off uh, cards, I believe. Alright, so we got the two generators activated. I think that's it. I gotta reset the main power breaker. Took off my shotgun, that's no good. I have fun, really. lights in this place. Thank you very much. Alright. Gotta return to Raquel and let her know the generators are running again. 
but before we leave, I do believe there's a unique weapon here. We, we want to find that. I can't quite remember where it's at. It is a unique grenade launcher. And we're not leaving it behind. In fact, I might have passed it. I think it was near the ant mound down there. Where are you, you bastard? There it is. Thump thump. We definitely want Thump Thump. I'm going to try to collect as many unique weapons as possible. Thump Thump is a 40 millimeter grenade launcher. We like Thump Thump. Alright, just gotta drop some shit here. As usual. I'm gonna just drop a fission battery for now. They're weighty. We'll keep one. Alright, now we can safely leave here. Don't shoot artillery. It's not good for your health. Artillery shells, that is. Shooting artillery is definitely good for your health. At other people. Preferably innocent people. Okay, I'm going to return to Raquel, let her know we're good. A couple more quests we can do here in the Nellis Air Force Base. And then we're going to return to our Kaiser mission, or Caesar, if you will. There's one more of the graphics we're going to pop in here. We've got a droid floating over here. We're going to do some boxing with him. Always reminds me of them little float fuckers from Empire Strikes Back. They come out of the snow right now. I can't remember their names, but... Another glorious day in this man's army. Fuck you, Mr. Gutsy. Lick scrote. Lick my scrote. Door to the hangar. Let's check this out. B-52 bomber in here. All kinds of fucking goodies over here. Some cram spam. I'm obviously stealing your stim packs. Eventually, one day, be doing a let's play of uh, the original Fallout 3. Won't be anytime soon. If you want to see a good LP of that, check out my buddy Byron's. He's currently doing one, and it should whet your appetite for now. to lighten my load here. 
In more ways than one. You can find me a hot bitch. This is pretty devoid of anything useful, it seems. One of the great things about this series, and really any Bethesda game, is the explorability. You just always feel like you're in this real world with every little thing you can turn over and check every little rusty can and every little rock and it's great it's a great feeling to have an expansive world like this where the horizon is just a couple hours walk away I really am thinking about installing the sprint mod at this point just to kind of hurry along the long walks here. I'm not that entertaining to listen to. And don't make it hard for me to find you, bitch. I see the power's back on. The ants are all dead? Fucking A, baby. Maybe Pearl is right about you. Because I don't know how you pulled that off. I'll tell Loyal to send someone down to clear out the eggs and repair the generators. Good work. Yes, I'm accepted. Like, I give a shit. Really, I just want the experience. What is it, Outsider? Anything else I can help out with? The next time you leave Nellis, keep an eye out for missiles. We're down to a five-year supply for our launchers. Will do. Come find me when you've got some to turn in. I have some missiles for you. How many? I have one spare missile. It's better than nothing. Oh, that's just for fame? No experience? Alright. See ya. Lick balls. I know Mother Pearl is letting you wander Nellis as you please, Outsider, but I have patience to tend to. I'm looking for ways to make myself useful. I have three patients here who were gravely injured fighting those giant ants in the generator building a few days ago. I've stabilized their wounds, but they're in bad shape. Do you have medical training? Uh... Sorry, let's see. Don't apologize. Your care is my res... Let's see if we have some med books. impacts up their ass.
morning. Need to get rid of the shitty gun here. sucks. There's the howitzer firing mechanism that we need for Kaiser. Grab some scrap metal for now. Pete! You're the outsider. Mother Pearl sent word that you'd be stopping by. You must be eager to hear the story of our people. Shit, yeah, kid. I'd like to know all about your fucking people here. Wonderful. I'm sure you've noticed the mural on the wall of this hut. Shall I tell you what it all means? Oh shit, yeah, I'm excited. Let's get to it. Excellent. Imagine you're the first outsider to ever hear our tale. <clears throat> God, can I blow your head off now or later? Ages ago, long before I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns. But the Overseer wouldn't let us explode anything, not even a hand grenade. We left and wandered the wastes. They were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades, burned them with flamethrowers. It was neat, but there was a downside. For every 43.6 savages we killed, we lost one of our own. We needed a new home. We needed an Ellis. Multiply. Here are mighty guns to destroy any savages who might try to harm us before they can even reach our gates. Well, until... But... Not saying you want to harm us or you're a savage, but anyways. Nellis has revealed many secrets. It has taught us how to fly the bombers once based here, and it has taught us where to find one. our story so far. For this last image is our future. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety, bringing high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. This is our destiny. I like this kid. I'm pleased that you listened to the entire story. Perhaps there are details you'd like to know more about. Let me know. Now that you know the story of our people, you must have all sorts of questions. I have some questions about your people's history. Ask away. Why did your ancestors leave the safety of the vault? So you know about the vaults? Yes, we lived in one of those. Ours was number 34. In our vault, everyone had guns. But the Overseer wouldn't let you fire off any of the really fun ones. 
I guess all the little pops and bangs at the firing ranges just got boring after a while. Your people were willing to risk it all for freedom. They seem really crazy about blowing shit up. Keep that opinion to yourself when visiting Nellis, outsider. It makes you sound ignorant. Anything else you want to know? Yeah. I'm surprised Nellis was empty when your people found it. Several automatic warheads detonate here a hundred years ago, leaving the base highly radioactive. The savages of the Waste, ignoramuses, all avoided Nellis by habit. Whereas your people had brought Geiger counters with them from the vault. That's exactly right. You're very knowledgeable for a Sav. An outsider. Anything else you want to know? How do you survive totally cut off from the world? And what are the Howitzers doing at an Air Force base? You're right. They weren't here when we discovered Nellis. We found the guns at a huge weapon depot called Area 2, many miles from here. It took many weeks to drag the guns and their ammunition back to Nellis. And it was the last time any of us set foot beyond our homeland. Ah, oh, man. You people are a determined bunch. Yes. There's just about nothing we won't do to get our hands of some explosive ordnance. Anything else you want to know? Alright. Is there something else you'd like to talk about? Yeah, shut the fuck up. Bye. You can, of course, continue talking to the little bastard. Now that you know the story of our people... How do you survive totally cut off from the world? Nellis is a completely self-sufficient community. We draw water from Lake Mead, solar arrays provide power, and we grow our own crops. The ingenuity of your people is remarkable. Thank you. Our self-sufficiency is a point of pride. Anything else you want to know? Certain skills you might have a high enough uh, ability to do, certain ones you might not. How has Nellis taught your people to fly? Once we restore power, we learned that some elaborate chairs we had been sleeping in were actually virtual reality simulators. We believe they were used to train combat pilots. We used them extensively. I alone have shot down over 500 Chinese Zion 85 fighters. Before you ask, I'm afraid there's no way you can be allowed to use the simulators. They're for our use only. Sorry. Of course, you wouldn't want outsiders learning to fly. Thank you for being so understanding. Anything else you want to know? How did you learn where to find the old bomber? Loyal found a file somewhere on the base, with magazine articles, photographs, a map even. It seems that a bomber, apparently the 29th of its kind, crashed in Lake Mead on July 21st, 1948. Just imagine, that's over 300 years ago. The photograph shows that it was basically intact, and the map tells us exactly where to find it. Except we haven't left Nellis in decades. You could attach blast to the plane and haul it there for repairs. Yes. In fact, that's exactly what Loyal has planned to do. You should go talk to him. I wish everyone were just as interested in our story as you are. Maybe I should act out the battles. Or learn how to throw my voice. Yes, and start a YouTube channel about it. Who needs help around here? Gosh, there's a lot of folks. Over at the workshop, Loyal and- Alright, Loyal and Jack, sounds good. But now we are liked by the boomers. And in the next video, we will seek to do some more side quests for them. And possibly blow a few of their heads off. Thanks for watching.